Hit it while it's casting, yeah. Perfect time. Ooh, alright, well, it missed. This could work. This is also a pretty long fight, but then again, I lost. I didn't lose to a deer. Did that hit? Oh, okay, it got some damage. Not as much as I wanted, but it got damage. Alright, come on, guys. Don't do it. I, I, I shifted my Dragon Swarm away. It was the smartest thing I've ever done. Had to. If I didn't, I probably would have died. Chiang, why are you using Ice Tornado when we need healing? I really have to edit their strategies, but I'm too lazy. What is with that scream? Okay, that, that move is just stupid. That time I got it. Oh, she has no CP, that's why, okay. That, that's my fault for not realizing that. I'm very mixed on the CP concept. I think it's kind of cool. I think I definitely like it more now. I was a little more against it before, but now I'm kind of over it. Now I'm like, yeah, it's a good way to balance the game. I don't really mind it that much. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I don't really mind it personally. Should have put the strategy on. There we go. Got that perfectly. Oh, I, I let that out. That's my fault. But hey, I'm not dead, so who cares? Oh, Alfin's not alive? I thought Alfin was alive. I guess not. So I'm playing his law for now. Oh, and Bruce broke it, though. Oh no. Okay. Uh, you can't like repeatedly perfect dodge that, I guess. Yeah, stay away from my friends. Or my power. Please hit me. Oh, they're still on do nothing. That's my bad. Oh my goodness. Screw off. This enemy's annoying. I might lose this again. I Man, I might not lose. I have a better chance of winning than I did before. Let's be real. Okay. Shion, I really can't afford you to die right now. Like, I actually can't. If you die, I lose. Don't cast literally in the perimeter of the enemy. Alright. Alright, you got Dohalim up. I was kind of hoping you would. Oh my good, that was my. I should have moved out of the way. Whatever. Thank you, Consuming Wildfire, for interrupting that art. Oh, you died. Okay. That's just what we're doing now, huh? Please, Dohalim, do not mess this up. Oh, uh, okay, you were- you're alive. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Oh, uh, I lost this again. This enemy's annoying. I'm really against the game giving me quests that are just way too strong. Alright. Well. We're not doing that right now. Maybe later on, but not now. How do I load my game? Please say an auto. Okay, the auto save. Rena. This is at fifteen twenty-two. Yeah, this might be what I want. Yeah. Okay. You guys want to rest here? Did I watch that skit, or do I have to watch the skits again? 
Yeah, all right. I'll come back to that one. Let's uh, just accept these other quests. I really hate the game giving you quests that are just way too strong. And there's like no good indicator of how strong the quest is. It's like my biggest pet peeve like in games. I think there's someone in trouble here. Yes. Remind me, you two were both born in the current generation of Brennans, correct? That would put 100 years between us, which would make me akin to an ancestor to your generation. As such, I have an opportunity for you to demonstrate the respect due to elders like me. Perhaps I'm reading into things too much, but is such respect truly m merited in this instance? I couldn't tell you one way or another, but it seems like he needs help with something. Just listen to what I have to say right now. You see, hold on, I can't let you go any further. I had a feeling this was going to happen. You always try to beat me to the punch with these things. I'm surprised to hear you object. I thought you understood that sometimes the quest for knowledge requires that we get our hands dirty. That's exactly why I simply can't stand here and let you do this. I could be losing out on a valuable opportunity. So let's make it fair, shall we? We'll both give them our request. Works for me. I have no objections. My head is starting to hurt trying to follow these two. It must be pretty strong even if you, if you, if even you admit it. I don't know what you two want from us, but don't expect us to agree to anything. What's that? Are you simply going to walk past an elder person who's in distress? I didn't think the generation gap had gotten so wide that young people forgot their manners. How unfortunate. Alright, alright. We'll hear you two out. But one matter at a time, we're busy people ourselves with our matters to attend to. Fair enough. In that case, can't wait. I can't wait. I can wait. You go first. Thank you. Now, as I was about to say before, I'd like for you all to go down to the surface of Rena and track down a certain experimental Zoogle subject of mine. It's a failed specimen, ejected into Dick Faisal, thinking that would dispose of it, but it seems to have survived this trip in what? space. You threw it out into space? That's so cruel. Is it though? It's a Zoogle. And you wish for us to finish the job, I gather? That's partly what I need you to do. More importantly, I need you to collect tissue from said Zoogle. I never would have predicted that if it were arrived on Breno alive and well. It merits further scientific investigation. Why not simply go there yourselves? Then you can research the creature to your heart's content. Proper field studies aren't my area of expertise, from what I gather. You people are better equipped for such strenuous work that I'll, than I'll ever be. I, I thought I was being mindful of how of how I presented myself, but apparently not. Sounds a little lazy to me. Yeah, we'll handle Great. it. I have mixed feelings. I won't make any firm promises on whether we shall deliver, but if that works for you, we'll look into Very it. Nice. Pleased to see my predictions about you weren't unfounded. In that case, go on and get to work. The rest of my research is being held up to this... So the sooner you finish this, the better. I should also mention the Zugul in question is a six-armed giant. It's an extremely violent specimen, so be careful when dealing with it. Oh, this is on Rena, so we're actually not doing this one right now, I guess. Why on earth am I having stream issues? This is getting very annoying. Joe Halim, the line of researchers is getting longer. Perhaps I should have put more thought into. I'm resetting my net. This is getting very stupid. I've been having these issues a long time. Not a long time. But like for the past week or two, and it's getting very annoying. I kid you not, it's actually getting annoying. Oh, hope hopefully that goes back on. All right, well we're not doing that one if it's on Rena though. We'll do that when we're actually doing Rena. Yeah. Just accept all the quests, honestly, and then we'll see which ones are good for now. I swear, I th these internet issues are annoying me. Who are you looking at? Quick gawking and let's go. Ow! Uh, internet, come on, come on, dude, dude. Seriously, I hate this. My internet has been fine for like a while now, and now it's suddenly acting up. We're gonna ruin your stream in whatever way possible. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ticked off. Not the game, I'm getting ticked off at this internet. Yeah, alright. I think it's back now. Sorry, chat. I'm getting really ticked off at the internet, though. Is there any other side quests I'm missing? Wow, there aren't that many side quests as I thought. That one's on Brenna, so we'll do that one when we do when we're in Brenna. Oh, there's a skit here. We'll watch it after the side quest. My lord, you've received a notice from Notio. It says the wedding is to be held at Saxleo Temple. Oh, 
this is the guy we did Missing Lover for. Oh my goodness, I'm having drop frames. Could my stream just go better, please? I'm, I'm getting really ticked off. Like, seriously. You have no idea how ticked off I'm getting. If my internet could just be stable for, like, five seconds. Oh, come on, internet. Getting extremely ticked off right now. I just want to play the frigging game. Oh, jeez. This is annoying. I haven't had issues like this in so long. Now, suddenly, it's just happening again. Makes no sense. Alright, whatever. Sorry. Sorry, Twitch. There might have to be a few drop frames. Hopefully, it resolves itself as the stream goes on, but I'm sorry. Excellent. Thanks for letting me know. At last, seems the big wedding's upon us. I can't ill think of a happier occasion than this. Yeah, I'm excited for them. Their future. Okay. Hopefully, I can do this quest, no problem. Let's do this quest right now, then. What other quest do we have to accept? Is that it? That's all of them? There might be more as you do them. I don't know. Leo Temple. Isn't that where Shion was being held? Shh. Wasn't it beautiful? I can't wait for this. <sighs> Wasn't that Delphara's castle? Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad? You should see the state of my underwear. Yeah. A word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history, especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but... You sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I... You know, she's always there. Even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. R romance Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. Hmm. <laughs> Thunderblade! <laughs> what the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. Whew. Uh, from the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. These two. Is Rimbo really considered a tomboy? I don't think I never realized. I never would consider Rimwell a tomboy. That's wild. Hey, Shion. How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry. It's just... I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth... If he'd been the way he is now, back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Nagal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. 
I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say. Cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? He might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alvin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Oh, I'm Xion. A creepy crawly tangent. Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... What the... An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. <laughs> Sounds like they're tougher than they look. Wha what about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? <laughs> Darling, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's get this quest done. Uh, so, how do we... I guess this is the temple. Oh, this is Del Forest Castle. They just changed the name of it. Okay. So wait. We might try Undini after this because like, where else could the quest be? Oh, hey, constant vigilance. I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Runwell? Are you doing this on purpose? Her face is so red. 